Welcome to our estate sale this week. This week we are in southwest Oklahoma City again. Really great, really fun sale that has lots of antique furniture. We're going to start in the back bedroom and kind of first on our list uh, we've got the we got this four-poster bed. It's old mahogany probably from the 1930s. We have a matching Ethan Allen end table. We also have this nice Ethan Allen rocker. All throughout the house, there's probably 50 to 60 of these pictures. Uh, they had a framing company, so lots of brand new framed prints with classic posters or classic prints in them. So, tons of those. We also have, uh, the house is also on the market, so the house is very interesting. It's 179000 is what they're asking. So, there's information if you're interested in the house, we can put you in touch with the homeowner. We have another 1930s uh, Duck and Fife style dresser or bachelor's chest. On top of it, we have a Scarlett O'Hara gun with a wind doll. This is made by the Franklin Mint Company and is a 22 inch porcelain doll. We've got this mirror. More pictures, as you can see. As we go through the bathroom, like I said, pictures kind of of every size. This bedroom set is a little bit different. A little bit more unusual is an early 1900 set. We have the matching dresser, we have the mirror, and the end tables, a pair of end tables, and the full size bed. Really unusual to find a set still intact all together that hasn't been split up. Uh, we also have this little 1960s drop front desk. This is a kind of a cool find. This is a record cabinet. You open it up and there's places for records, three uh, stacks of records in it. It's really kind of a neat piece to find. Uh, in the closet, as you can tell, we've got a vintage uh, camera collection. And then, over here, we have another Ethan Allen style, or Ethan Allen Windsor style chair. We're going to go into the living room. In the living room, we've got some books. We also have a 55 inch plasma TV. This is a Samsung. Uh, this is uh, only two years old and it's a 3D TV. So if you need a new TV, this is actually a pretty nice one. We've been watching uh, TV on it. We've got a Bose stereo. We also have a Pioneer stereo. We've got uh, some collector cars. Uh, there's a Franklin Mint one. We have some uh, engravings or limited edition prints. Over here we've got a nice cute little matching pair of end tables or nightstands uh, for a bedroom set that are probably 1930s. Over here we've got, this is a sheet music cabinet. Kind of rare to find a double sided sheet music cabinet versus a single slotted one. Uh, we also have a pair of these Asian styled mirrors. This is also kind of unusual to find a pair that match. We have one here, one on the other side of the bookcase. And then we're going to show you kind of the pool room. We have an indoor pool and we put all the linens out here plus there's some patio furniture, a mower, and you know some other miscellaneous. But anyway, it's really really kind of cool to have an indoor pool. Okay, next we've got this uh, big wall unit here and all these little pieces come apart and then they can go back together in any order you want. We've got lots of VHS tapes, some kind of fun pottery, some antique trophies. There's lots of vintage early 1900 stuff in the cell. Uh, we have a pie crust table, uh, also 1930s. This is the other matching mirror to that set. In the dining room, we have a um, Chippendale style dining room table with six chairs. We have the matching dresser or matching buffet and the matching china cabinet. This is going to date probably to the 1920s. We've got two safes for sale at this cell, and we have one of these multi-tier tables. These are actually called dumb waiters, but nobody ever knows that, so we just call them three-tiered tables. If you have an antique booth, these are great for displaying items for sale. We have a 1950s reproduction Victorian liar base in table. We have also two typewriters, this antique one plus another one. We have some Acosta crystal. And on top of the dining room table, we've got a little bit of Fenton. There's a Waterford bowl, uh, a couple of pieces of candle wick. Over here, we've got two antique floor lamps. This one is really exceptional. Usually they're all metal. This one has a solid crystal base. So the entire base is crystal with a mirror. It's very art deco. And we also have the matching shade for it. Very hard to find that these aren't damaged. We have a nice little lane side table with a 
a needlepoint chair and this uh, older print that's probably from the 50s. Like I said, lots more artwork. Like I said, there's about 50 to 60 of these in total. We have a silver plate flatware set and a nice huge buffet mirror. We have another antique torchier. This one's what we normally find. These are metal based, but it still has the original uh, globe on top of it. And then we have a couple of slot machine banks and then some other kind of fun collectibles. Now we're going to go into the breakfast room. In the breakfast room, we've got a cute little table and four chairs. Uh, more prints. This is kind of a really unusual uh, china. This is called Day. It is made by the Midwinter Stonehenge Collection from England. It's kind of mid-century, really kind of fun uh, china, or fun collectible china. We've got a couple of other sets of china that are for sale. And then in the kitchen, you know, kind of just typical typical kitchen wares. There is a set of Pyrex uh, bowls. These are ones we've never had this color before. Uh, these are kind of rare and collectible, so if you're a Pyrex collector, you definitely want to check out these bowls. Oh, and the Pyrex, I believe it's Delphite Blue is the actual color. In the master bedroom, we've got uh, this, the king size bed has a pair of nightstands on each side that are little bitty, uh, little bitty on little bases. We have the king size headboard. We also have the Chippendale chest on chest styled piece. This is probably 1930s, 1940s. Also, nice little French style chair. We have a 1920s Empire style sofa, and nice cute little rocker and an Empire uh, or a just an antique desk. We have a glider rocker, plus we have a regular rocker, and then this uh, probably 1970s pine hutch uh, that's in here that they have for display. Uh, lots of really kind of fun, it's kind of a really fun sale with all the antiques. Okay, next there's also three refrigerators for sale. We have one that I didn't show you to, I'm about to. We have this washer and dryer. Kind of got distracted there. And in the garage, they brought all their furniture from their lake house, so a lot more antique furniture. We have a dining room set that's Duncan Five style with the six Empire style chairs. We have a full size canopy bed, which would be really adorable for a guest bedroom or a little girl's room. Uh, we've got a sewing machine. We also have a nightstand that matches the bed. We have a really great vanity with a matching mirror that's in really good shape. We have a bedroom set that matches. We have the chest, the vanity, and the bed that matches. This is the chest. Next to it, we have the buffet that goes to the uh, dining room set and kind of an antique mirror that sits on top. Next to it is the matching vanity for that bedroom set. Plus, we have lots of miscellaneous pictures, a uh, couple of chairs from the lake house living room. Over here we have, sorry, it was a freezer and the refrigerator. Then we have a really good condition Singer treadle sewing machine. This one's really good condition. And then the full size poster bed that matches that other bedroom set. Kind of last on the list is we have a few tables full of tools, lots of little hand tools, a couple of power tools, gas powered chainsaw. Uh, over here we have a cute little stand with a uh, flat panel TV on it some yard tools, some racks uh, for your garage, and then some miscellaneous chemicals. And that kind of is the short tour of the house. It's definitely a really nice little cell to come to. If you love antique furniture, it's kind of a rare treat because we don't get antiques this old like we used to. So it's kind of a neat little cell, to, a neat little opportunity to come buy a bunch of antiques. Anyway, that's the cell. We'd love to see you here, so make sure to stop on by.